Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the concept of experience curve. How does experience curve looks? What are the causes of experience curve? What are the cautions while making experience curve? The strategies developed by experience curve and its application. So let's get started. What is experience curve? In experience curve, cost is correlated with experience that is accumulated over the years by experience curve effect. If the total quantity of production is increased for a standard item, its unit manufacturing cost tapers down. Initially, the cost is more due to more time required and is reflected in terms of high labor cost. But as quantity increases, the item of on each successive unit decreases. Thus, with accumulated experience, the cost per unit dips. Now we'll see how experience curve looks. This is the experience curve. The experience curve is delineated here where vertical axis of this diagram is the cost per unit. Horizontal axis represents the accumulated experiences or the years of working or production volume. Here it is divest, di, devised as when the production is a cost per unit is N and with the advent of time when production is B unit, the cost per unit tapers down at M. This can be read as due to experience in industry, specialization, etc. Business achieves economy of scale due to which the product cost got reduced. This is the point where business can increase their margins and earn profit. The curve at given point can be asymptotic to the x-axis that is parallel to the x-axis but never touches it. That means cost per unit can be reduced or can be kept minimal but it can be never be zero. Now we will see what are the causes of experience curve. Productivity improvement of labor due to accumulated experience skills, devising of new tools and fixtures, developing reflex sections etc. This also reduces super supervisory and quality control work. The increased volume of production lead to more specialization and thus saves time. Vendors may also be developed to deliver products at the right time, thus reducing inventory cost. Value engineering of products may further result in substitution of material, better reliability, weight reduction, scrap reductions, etc. The product line can be balanced and more units produced without extra investments. Now we will see what are the cautions required while reading experience curve. Passage of time is not experience, but reducing cost with deliberate efforts with the help of gained expertise is called experience. The work may be fragmented and specialization in each fragment of total work may have a different experience. Additional considerations like business cycle fluctuation, inflation, bottlenecks, industrial relation, problems, etc. that cannot be directly reflected on an experience curve must be carefully accounted for. Now we'll see what are the strategies can be developed through experience curve. The experience curve relationship gives an insight to the strategy manager into the industrial scene with regard to future costs, profits, cash flows for a company and that of competitors in the industry. The basic assumption is, however, that the cost and hence the price will follow pattern of a curve. The strategies that could involve are here three strategies are charted out for competitiveness of firm gaining experience curve. They are first selling price below the competitor's product price as to gain experience curve advantage. To avail the experience curve effect company strives to selling products at highest price as possible paid by the customer so that they can attain the market shares as early as possible. Third strategy is to sell products at highest price in initial periods and then at the stage of attainment of experience curve effect start dropping the price of product to be the market leader by cost effective and keep competitors out of the race. 
Now, the last is the application of experience curve. We have witnessed the effect of experience curve in FMCG, SMCG, electronics, technology, automobile and other industries. Whereas the volume grows, cost and hence price decline. We have seen many companies going into oblivion due to the effect of experience curve. As competition grows, prices crash, supplies should therefore increase and hence the manufacturer should be able to supply to meet the high demands. Thus, requirements are close coordination and fast responsiveness within a company. Lowering of prices does not mean that the product should be substandard in quality. The experience curve effect can be used to benefit only if the demand is elastic. Those do not rise to this occasion soon perish. If demand is inelastic, the price in the fall in price will not lead to proportionate rise in demand and hence the experience curve effect cannot be used beneficially in such circumstances. When competition is very fierce, demand may not lower prices, experience curve may lead companies to work only efficiently and not effectively. There may be a general reluctance to go for introspection and do fundamental rethinking of technology business process etc and the likelihood of doing right thing in different ways is considerably reduced so this was all about experience curve hope you liked the video if uh, to watch more such videos subscribe to the channel thank you